All right, what's up guys? Um, I'm at the park, got a new build, pretty excited about it, the iFlight XL10 V5. Um, some of you might know that I had an XL10 V4, but I put it into a mesquite tree at a high rate of speed and totaled it last year. So really excited about this build. Um, got a Brain FPV, Radex V2, APD ESCs, which if you don't know, these things are amazing, the dynamic braking super helpful on a big heavy prop like this um, hopefully you'll be able to catch it in the fpv feed it almost stops the motors um, yeah i will say i did a maiden yesterday didn't turn out very well lesson learned i reused this flight controller from the previous build always flash the firmware i had some stuff in the cli from the previous build that just did not carry over to this rig because it's a completely different frame um, so just scrap that footage uh, basically was a total disaster so flashed everything got it up and running um, gonna try and do a quick flight here at the park before anybody shows up so hopefully we can get this done um, again the dynamic ESC on this is just I mean the dynamic braking is amazing let me see if I can get it actually on camera I'll power it up real quick so uh, it's running pro shot not uh d shot which is a little bit faster than d shot 600 but the dynamic braking is just amazing so if you spin the prop it spins like normal but now watch when it's got power to it okay so we're booted up now watch the dynamic braking on this prop it almost doesn't it doesn't spin at all and that's, I mean, really, when you're swinging a big prop, the ability for it to stop and start, go up and down an RPM super quick, is just gonna give this thing absolutely amazing handling. So, and then when it's powered off, everything's back to normal. All right, let me get the FPV stuff set up and we'll go for a rip. Thank <laughs> you. 